You said it, Big Mac. This is taking forever! I know it's wrong to cut corners when it comes to gifts from the heart, but this is an emergency, right? Yep. Discord? A little help! Discord! <sighs> yeah. Oh, good idea. <clears throat> Captain Woods, are you prepared to enter the world of ogres and oubliettes? Bizarre fellow adventurers, shall we storm the ramparts of Squizzard's castle to reclaim Calico's ring of imperceptibility? You did summon me for a rousing guise night of ogres and obliettes, did you not? Uh, sort of, but do you think you could magically hurry up this pie real quick first? You seem to be mixing up the Lord of Chaos with a second-rate clown magician for hire. Wait! This needs to go in the mail today, or it'll never get to Sugar Bell in time for Hearts and Hoofs Day. <laughs> Please, can't you see that that holiday is a commercialized ruse pushed on you by the greeting card industry? <clears throat> Fine, you owe me for this. Keep your eye on the pie. It's magic time! My little pony, my little pony Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? This smells uh, palatable. Well, pies really are Sugar Bell's thing, but I think that makes us all the more special. It shows you're interested in what she cares about. Yep. And he's planning a big romantic hearts and hooves dinner. It was my idea to bake the invitation inside. Happy hearts and hooves day, Sugar Bell. Meet me in my barn at sunset for a surprise. Pretty clever, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh. Aw, Sugar Bell. See? Well, you two certainly have bought into this romance nonsense, hook, line, and sinker. For a formerly friendless immortal despot, you're pretty cynical. I'm a realist, and love, like all things warm and fuzzy, isn't real. Aw, come on. You act tough, but deep down you're a softie. I mean, you don't have tea with Fluttershy every weekend because you like tea. But I do like tea. Every tea, all the teas. Chamomile, Earl Grey, green, white, yellow, mate, lemon, ginger, chai, spearmint, peppermint, hibiscus, <laughs> cinnamon, pumpkin spice. Mm. Tell you what, while Big Mac mails his incredibly romantic gesture, I'll show you the splendors of Hearts and Hooves Day in Ponyville. I bet I can prove you believe in love. Fine. Call it a gentleman's wager. Loser mows my lawn for eternity. Is it like a riding mower or... Tweezers! It's addressed to Bill? Hmm. 
<gasps> Sweetie Belle! Some ponies certainly went through a lot of trouble for me on Hearts and Hearts Day! <gasps> you don't think. Could it be? Hang on a minute. Mysterious package, smudged address, no idea who it's from. <laughs> I know what this is. You got a secret admirer! <laughs> Another Hearts and Hoods Day. Love is in the air, Discord. Look at all these happy couples. How can they be happy if they aren't playing ogres and oubliettes? As a great dragon poet once wrote to his beloved, I love you with the utmost clarity. I love you, dear. My sweet, sweet rarity. Are you even listening? Of course. Love is something, something, and Discord is great. I don't know. Can we play O and O now? Sure. After you admit you believe in love and... Sugar Bell! Big Mac's girlfriend. What's she doing in town so early? Well, Sugar Bell, I I'm sure Big Mac won't be expecting it. <gasps> She's planning her own romantic surprise for Big Mac. What if she goes to Sweet Apple Acres before Big Mac's ready with his surprise? We've got to warn him. <laughs> Play <Cooper Bell. laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Make back. Make back. I mean, Big Mac. We just saw Sugar Bell. She's at Sugar Cube Corner, but I think she's on her way over here now. You gotta keep her away from here until the barn's finished. <gasps> yep. I wonder what she has planned for him. <laughs> we don't have to wonder. Oh. Will you warn me next time you do that? She hasn't seen him yet. Take note, Discord. This is what love is all about. Spike, love is about spying in the bushes. Make fun of me all you want, but look at Big Mac's face and tell me you don't believe in love. <laughs> I hope he'll be okay without me. <laughs> oh, hey, we're just... That's fine. Hush! I mean, he has been on his own before, so he'll be fine, right? <sighs> How should I tell Big Mac tonight? You won't need to come visit me in my village anymore? We need to talk. Just be honest with him. You're right. Okay, we're finished. <laughs> Right, she did surprise you. <laughs> okay, things seem bad. Maybe they're really not. Maybe we're finished was about the day. A pony say that, right? Like, like, hey, remember yesterday? That's finished, because it's today. Maybe not that. Oh, I know. Maybe Sugar Bill has a wacky cousin who's never been on his own, and she has to leave him in charge of her shop while she apprentices with Mrs. Cake, who does that, like, two days a week. Uh, no, no, three. That's why she won't need you to come to her village anymore, because she'll already be here. Nah, I don't even buy that one. <laughs> she takes pie bacon seriously. Why did I even try? I bet she thought I, I was making fun of her. Oh, I hate seeing you like this, Big Mac. And over a girl, no less. I'm calling an emergency guys night right now to cheer you up. Besides, we can't have you ruining any more of my thousand-year-old monogrammed handkerchiefs. These are silk, you know. <laughs> Class is now in session. Lesson one, nothing can break your heart if you only love yourself. You've got to show every pony that you're too cool to be bothered with so-called love. Observe. 
This is how cool guys lean against things. When you see a guy leaning against a thing looking this cool, you think, wow, that guy doesn't have a care in Equestria. Not a guy who leans on things that cool. I don't think leaning's gonna help. Am I doing it right? Whoa! Oof. We're not like you, Discord. We can't put on a front and pretend not to love. It's impossible. Lesson two. Plenty of ponies in the pasture, right, Big Mac? I know just the gal to make you forget all about Sugar Bell. You said her name! Oi, hey. Okay, we finished decorating the barn for Big Mac, which means we got the rest of the day to ourselves. There's a whole town of possible admirers out there, and only three of us. But together, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Ready? Break! Excuse me, Pipsqueak, not answering a few questions. No? Late for something? Are you Sweetie Belle's secret admirer? Excuse me, I'm doing a research survey about sending pie in the mail anonymously. Would you say you're pro that or anti that? Happy Hearts and Hooves Day. Did you boys happen to send any packages to me recently? It's okay to say no. I won't be offended. Please say no, please say no, please say no. Sir McBiggins meets Skelenor. She's a level 18 bone warrior in Squizzard's mage army, but only to pay off skeleton student loan debts. Get to know each other, why don't you? Wow, you're really going all out to cheer up Big Mac. I'm impressed. Yes, yes, I'm amazing. Anyway, since we're in the neighborhood, care for a quick game of ogres and oubliettes? Like I've been wanting to play all week? I take it back. I'm helping our friend, first and foremost. See for yourself. I think he's showing her a picture of Sugar Bell. What? And now he's crying. No, 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 he's not. Let me see that. Don't touch it. I'm looking for it. Give me that. Cut it out, Discord. Quit it. <laughs> you see this thing where her, her nose would wrinkle when she laughed? Right there, in that hole where your nose used to be. I never told her how much I loved wrinkled nose, kitty face. <laughs> and now I never will. <laughs> Okay, I think we've had enough of the aloof master of chaos remedies for a broken heart. You know what I do when I have a problem too big to solve? I hide from it. When she can't find you, she'll realize how much she misses you. Plus, if she can't find you, she can't break up with you. Yup. <laughs> I don't get it. We asked every stallion in Ponyville. Ugh, there's gotta be some pony we're missing. Some pony obvious. Some pony right in front of our noses. Oh, well, at least the barn's looking great for Big Mac's date. Too bad there won't be a date. Sugar Bell is so lucky to have a non-secret admirer like Big Mac. Well, she certainly doesn't seem to have appreciated it. I bet she's gonna take one look at this barn and say, what did I ever do to deserve this? Yes, what did she do to deserve this? She broke my heart. Well, not yet, technically. In fact, she can't break your heart if you break hers first. Yep. Thanks for the tour of Ponyville, Mrs. Cake. Oh, my pleasure. I'm up to surprise Big Mac with the news. Imagine the look on his face when I tell him we need to talk. Oh, dear me, no. I told you, don't say it that way, or you'll think you're breaking up with him. Break up with him? Never. Why, without my favorite delivery pony, I couldn't imagine being happy ever again. He knows that. Good. Save your mix-up for cake batter. That's what I always say. <laughs> He's a good listener, that pony. I promise you, no mix-ups. Oh, Big Mac. Sugar Bell, we need to talk. I know why you're here. You do? But I have something to tell you first. Oh, can I go first? I'm gonna be- Stop. Oh, why don't we tell each other on three? One- It's over. 
What's over? You and me. It's over. Uh, what? We're breaking up. I don't understand. Why are you breaking up with me? And why are you leaning like that? I don't know. Big Mac, please talk to me. I, you... Ah! This is why I don't like talking. Words can hurt. Words hurt! Goodbye, Sugar Bell. Dude, how long have you been not hiding? Oh, I should probably have said something. Y'all should go. Did ya? Did she? Are ya? Big Mac, what's going on? Where's Sugar Bell? Just go. But we worked so hard on this chart. I think we've almost cracked it. If you could just... Not right now. But I can't stand having a secret admirer who's too scared to tell me who he is. Maybe he doesn't like talking. But that doesn't make any sense. Maybe he used to talk too much and it only ever got him into trouble. <sighs> what if you're right, Discord? What if love isn't real at all? I'm sorry, Sweetie Belle. I'm just mad and I'm taking it out on you. That's okay. I bet it felt good to get it out, though. Actually, it did. Telling you how I felt just then. I gotta go. Big Mac, where are you going? I gotta talk to Sugar Bell. Discord, you gotta use your magic and... Guess you have better things to do. Big Mac's gonna need a miracle. you just in time we both know I don't like to say much but I'm gonna say something now <sighs> even though I'm hurting I wouldn't trade this feeling for anything because it'd mean giving up the good times we had too I only broke up with you because you were gonna break up with me I respect your decision but you should know you'll always be in my heart I didn't want to break up with you but you said you don't need me to visit anymore. You said I'm gonna be on my own. I, I, I heard you said we're finished when I was hiding in the bushes. And that sounds worse than it is. Oh, Big Mac, I was talking about my cousin. I have this wacky cousin who's never been on his own, but I have to let him run my shop on weekends, which is why you won't be delivering to my village anymore. Because I'll already be here apprenticing with Mrs. Cake, who does that two days a week. No, three. Wait till I tell Spike. I'd never break up with you. I suppose there's a lesson here somewhere about communication. Talking instead of assuming or eavesdropping is wrong, wouldn't you say? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkle nose cutie face. You must have been awful confused at my breaking up with you after you got my pie. What pie? You didn't get the pie I sent? Mm -mm. Or the invitation? Uh -uh. Well, in that case, allow me to escort you to a Hearts and Hooves Day surprise. <laughs> and hooves day, Sugar Bell. Meet me. Sugar Bell? You have got to be pulling our hooves. It was all a mix-up? <laughs> oh, it's funny. I've been sitting here feeling sorry for myself for not having a special pony on hearts and hooves day, but 
Remembering all the fun we had? I think I have two special ponies. My two best friends. Aww. <sighs> and so ends another Hearts and Hoods day. Despite a bumpy start, and middle, and ending, a lot of bumps today, love was in the air. So was confusion, apparently, and a fair number of assumptions. But you have to admit, after seeing everything Big Mac went through, love is 100% real. <laughs> Seriously? Discord, come on! I can't believe you! Who do you think broke Sugar Bell's wagon wheel? Ta-da! Happy Hearts and Hooves Day! You old softy. Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew you had a heart. Speaking of how great I am, are you busy for the rest of the night? <laughs> Calico's ring of imperceptibility isn't going to reclaim itself, you know. Ogres and oubliettes? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, and just wondering, no biggie, but is Skeletor gonna be there? Spike, she's an imaginary one-dimensional paper cutout skeleton. Well, no pony's perfect. 